Welcome back! Finally, the last Rebecca vlog. Oh, it took a little while, but we're back. I'm gonna show you about the last few months at Rebecca. I, I edited this video and I was looking back and I was like, wow, I didn't even remember that, that we did that and I was filming there. So a lot of cool surprises for you guys. Thank you for your patience, by the way. And I also wanna thank you for this beautiful journey of, that Rebecca represented for me because one and a half year Vienna and one and a half year of your support and vlogs that you are watching and hopefully be very happy about. So one last time, the Rebecca vlog here for you right now. I have to say I had some technical difficulties with the camera. That means that part of the vlog was filmed in slow motion and without sound. So I had to be a little bit creative in the end of the vlog, but you will see that when you get there. And I also want to say to you guys, the last week of Rebecca, I didn't vlog anything because I really wanted to soak in all the love from my colleagues and really be in the moment in that show and enjoy the last show because it was quite emotional. I will tell you all about that, how I experienced that on the end of the vlog. But first, we're gonna start in October with some things that I filmed that I didn't do before. So let's watch it, have fun, and I'll see you soon. such a pleasure to edit that one because there was so what a mess <laughs> i just cleaned up my house and it still looks like a mess so i just got a letter from my grandfather at my new address he wrote me a beautiful letter two sides and he's telling me all kinds of beautiful things and i'm very very grateful for that in a few days it's his 82 birthday so i'm gonna now order him something that will arrive at his birthday that's a difficult thing that i cannot be there for him when he turns 82 but i will let him know that i'm thinking about him as he let me know that he's thinking about me my dear grandfather i love you ik hou van je opa <laughs> welcome Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, what a rumor, what a rumor! Excuse me, I just woke up. <laughs> I just woke up, I'm so sorry uh, for my waking up head, but I thought it was finally time to film again because I took a little break from filming for a few weeks. I posted, of course, my last vlog. If you didn't see it, you can watch it on my channel. It goes really well. I had actually a few weeks that were. Um, that I could really focus on uh, getting fit in the gym a lot and that I can focus on the show so I was very thankful for that and now the roller coaster starts again with all the things I have to do but first I wanted to show you that at the Bühne Eingang I always get beautiful presents from you guys thank you so much for that and this time it was also really special because a few people from Asia came over and they brought me presents and they also brought me tea that if you put it in the tea glass that it will go open eventually and a flower will come out also diese tasse habe ich auch von jemand bekommen schau mal kannst du das sehen es ist fast geöffnet aber da kommt dann so eine schöne flower draus und zum beispiel das hat so schön ausgesehen hier so diese tee vom Und das, oh my god, I love it. Sehr, sehr schön. So what I do is, with, when I need to learn so much lyrics that I have to learn right now, like for example, uh, the Halloween concert is coming up in Füssen, 
and I saw the set list what we're gonna sing and actually I never sung any song from that whole set list so that means that's super nice but that means that I have to learn all those lyrics Guten Morgen Heute habe ich einen voller Tag weil ich habe einen Physiotermin bei John Harris weil im Moment gerade mache ich ganz viel Sport und äh, mein Körper ist das Wichtigste, was er ist, oder? Weil wir haben nur eins. Oh, die Sonne ist so herrlich. Ähm, es ist Oktober und es ist immer noch 24 Grad. Aber ich habe gehört, dass in zwei Tagen es gleich 12 Grad nach unten geht. Sondern wird es auf einmal 8 Grad oder so. Mal schauen. So, erstmal Physiotermin, dann beeile ich mich nach Hause, weil ich meine Sache schon eingepackt habe für Fotoshoot. Heute habe ich mit Philipp Dietrich ein Fotoshoot, weil ich nur Headshots brauche. Okay, okay, personal training with the, the physio was amazing. In the I'm now hurrying because I need to do my makeup as soon as possible uh, for the shoot that I have later. So, angekommen im Studio. <lacht> Phil baut schon das Ganze auf und er isst noch ein bisschen, weil er hat schon ein Fotoshoot mit Arvid gehabt. Hi. Phil! Hey. Arvid, wie war dein Fotoshoot? Ja, super gewesen. Was hast du denn alles gemacht? Was für eine Headshots for äh, Body? Ein bisschen von allem. Wir waren auch draußen. Es sind ein paar richtig geile Fotos dabei. Cool. Ah, das war Spaß. little update from here we did so many pictures already i'm so excited i philip we're now gonna do some experimental things right <laughs> <laughs> let's go Good morning everybody, it's the day after the shoot and a show and physio and gym and, and this morning I was thinking, you know what, I do something nice, a nice breakfast for me with half a flocken, chia seeds, bio leinsamen, das leinsaat and um, dicksaft and mandelcreme, mandelmousse Und dann habe ich mit für die erste Mal mit Eiersatz äh, gekocht. So, ich habe meine eigene Pancakes gemacht. Hmm, and I'm gonna chase them right now. Maybe it's a total film. Maybe I really like it. But I was like, let's eat something nice for breakfast because today I'm going to Taylor Swift. I'm gonna see Taylor Swift in the cinema. I'm very excited. I also actually plan to go to her concert in August in Vienna. But um, first I want to see the movie and I'm going with three girls from the cast. I'm very excited. Oh, wir sind ins Theater. Schon umgezogen, Brücke fertig. Um, heute war ich bei Taylor Swift. Ich habe gar nichts mitgefilmt. Ich habe hier ein paar Stories gemacht. Das zeige ich euch jetzt. Es war super schön zu sehen. Ich liebe Taylor Swift, ich liebe ihre Songs und eigentlich war ich überrascht, wie viel ich eigentlich kenne. Ich kenne, glaube ich, nur Evermore and Folklore, kenne ich ja gar nicht, aber es war sehr schön, auch mit den Mädels, war super schön. Und dann kurz äh, noch ein paar Sachen erledigt zu Hause und dann wieder ins Theater gegangen. Wie gestern in der Kantine, weil ich habe keine Essen mehr, weil ich verlasse meine... Haus für ein paar Tage, weil ich nach Amsterdam gehe und nach Hamburg gehe nächste Woche auf meine Off-Shows, Off-Tage. Erstmal noch kurz die Show spielen, nicht so wirklich kurz, aber genießen. Noch fünf, fünf oder 15 Minuten bis zum Vorstellungsbeginn. Ich war zum 
Abend. Schau mal, da ist Sophie und sie war heute Nachmittag dabei. Ich kann nicht einzeln. Ja, schau. Wie fandst du es eigentlich da? Ich fand es so gut. Es war, Oder? Ich habe danach Kieferschmerzen gehabt, weil ich drei Stunden durchgelacht habe. Ich fand es mega. Na süß. Ich sag's mal wie Teenies. Happy Teenies. Yes. Jetzt muss ich aufhören zu filmen, weil wir müssen... Wie heißt es auf Deutsch, Matthias? Ich weiß Ein noch Tuch. immer nicht. Ein Tuch. Weil ich sage immer Schale, aber das ist etwas anderes auf Deutsch, oder? Ein Schale ist ein bisschen ja. Englisch und ein Tuch ist Oh, wirklich? Wieder etwas gelernt. Schau mal, wie ich hier habe. Hallöchen. Bianca! Und Hi. wie geht es dir, weil du bist eine von den Neuesten in ja, der Cast? Äh, ja, mir geht's super, super. Ja. Es ist ein schönes Stück, es macht Spaß mit dir. Ja, wir, wir haben immer unsere gemeinsamen Momente. Ja. Ähm, kurz nach meiner Frank-Szene, dann sitzt du schon fertig Stimmt. für Als Clarice und dann schauen wir, das schaust du mich immer so süß an. Ja. Und dann bist du natürlich auch Clarice und dann machen ja. wir zusammen, heute Nacht verzauber ich die Welt. Ja. Und ähm, ja, was ist dein schönster Moment in der Show? Strandgut. Ja. Strandgut ist... Oh, so gut. Das macht so viel Spaß, weil das so, ähm, das ist so kraftvoll. Ich habe das Gefühl, da kann man so richtig alles reinlegen. Und ähm, ja, nur die, die Kostüme sind ein bisschen warm, aber Sorry, sonst... Sorry, my went in the wrong shape. Oh no. <lacht> I, I got it in time. Okay. <lacht> okay, so, die okay. Kostüme sind ein bisschen warm, aber ja. es ist auch cool. Weil ja. ich höre immer, in das, dann ziehe ich mich sehr schnell um ja. zum anderen Kostüm. Und dann höre ich immer die Drums schon bum 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 ja. bum 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 Das ist mega bum, cool. Bum. Ja, cool. Die Musik macht einfach sehr viel Spaß und die Choreo ist sehr powerful. Ja, toll. Ja. Na schön. Ja. Cool, sind wir für noch zwei Shows und dann äh, Wochenende. Was machst du denn am Wochenende? <lacht> ähm, wir machen einen Trip. Oh. Nach äh, Gumpolskirchen. Oh, das habe ich gehört. Ja. Da kann ich leider nicht dabei sein, ja. aber ihr macht mit Cast and Trip, oder? Genau, ja. Das ist irgendwie so Cast-übergreifend. Hallo. Ähm, mit den Falco-Leuten und mit unseren Leuten. Oh, ja. ich hätte so gern dabei gewesen. Aber ihr wird unbedingt ja. Fotos in die Group-Chat teilen. Ja, alles voll posten Gut. auf Instagram. <lacht> Na schön. Schöne Show, danke Ja, eben. Die, die auch. <lacht> Good morning, everybody. I look like I just came out of bed. What was the truth? Yesterday, the show was really funny, actually, because sometimes small things go wrong and then, yeah, it just keeps like, keep your, your, on your tippy toes. Let's say that. Like, all the papers fell out of my folder and then I had to grab them during the scene, but it was like a tough scene. So I was like, oh, okay, how? That's so weird because then you have suddenly like a double concentration because you're like, okay, when in this scene can I pick up all those papers when it still looks naturally and it still looks like it's part of the scene, uh, but I have to pick them up because otherwise later people are gonna fall over it. Plus the rule is that as some something fell down, you have to, uh, like the unwritten rules, you have to Grab it as soon as possible because the audience is gonna look the whole time being distracted like when are they gonna pick that things up off the floor so you want the audience to be engaged with the scene and not with what is falling on the floor so as soon as i had the chance to pick those papers up i did it and then yeah it's inter it's just little things all happen during the show but it makes us very like let's go we have to be in this second um concentration to fix those little things so almost ready to go to work of course i have to get some breakfast yesterday i made beautiful nice uh, vegan pancakes like perfect um do you know that trend on tiktok that says girls girls dinner because that that means that you just eat whatever you have left in the in the fridge like pickles and i don't know all kind of things together Now let's do a girl's breakfast. I only have frozen spinach and frozen broccoli. And I'm gonna, oh, I could have made a good smoothie with that, I guess. But I already choose to warm it up and I'm gonna eat that for breakfast. Let's say a lot of vitamins. So welcome in my dressing room. I'm starting to get my makeup done. Um, I will show you how I do my eyes because It changed over the years and first I was really picky picky and now I actually like to just throw it on there and I'll show you in one second. So as you guys see I don't use any foundation um, because 
it is not, not so good for my skin. Plus my skin is quite clear, so I'm very happy with that. I think it's because I go so much to the sauna after training. Um, so I only use some highlighter to hide my dark spots around my eyes and the red spots around my nose. And I also like that you can still see my Sommersprossen. I have learned Sommersprossen. <laughs> my freckles. So this is the only base I use. And then I do my eyebrows and my eyes. Give me a second. So I have this little palette, light brown and dark brown, the light brown and this kind of pencil. So the light brown goes just here. I just put it there a little bit. Trust the process. Okay, so a little bit in the inside. I just put it on there. Maybe the makeup artist or like, Nienke, what the hell are you doing? This is not how you're supposed to do your makeup. I was never a makeup expert. I will never be a makeup expert. I am, uh, yeah, I, I prefer to not use makeup at all. Maybe a little bit of mascara. So this is how it looks now, horrible. And then we're gonna blend. Blending is your best friend. This is not a tutorial guys, because I guess there are way better, way, way, way better people that can explain a beautiful eye. But this is how it works for me, it's really quick. So this is how it looks blend, already quite okay in my opinion. Then my eyebrows with this, my lashes with this one or this one, my lips and my blush. And I don't do con uh, contouring anymore because I don't like that at the moment. <laughs> so let's change that. This is it for now. Later I will do my lipstick because I have to brush my teeth. Very important always before the show. not that nice anymore it's way nicer when it was warm so leftovers from my girl breakfast let's say it's very healthy hmm no it's not that bad but it's cold <laughs> yeah actually guests because Linda Lepom is here and of course it's very nice when somebody from conservatorium where I studied is here to watch the show so I'm gonna do extra my best always the hundred percent that I have that day so let's go let's make her proud and yeah after I have to hurry 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 to the airport so es ist jetzt Pause die erste Akt Lief super gut, um ehrlich zu sein. Das Publikum ist heute richtig laut und sie lachen richtig viel. Das ist ja immer ein gutes Motivation. Und ich laufe mal rüber nach Marc. Maggi! <lacht> Wie geht's dir? Mir geht's gut. Ja, Sonntagnachmittag, darf mhm. man das sagen, auch wenn das nicht. Ja. Oh, noch zehn Minuten. Ja. Noch zehn Minuten. Äh, Sonntagnachmittag, gute Show haben wir. Ja, super gute, gute Show. Show. Das, ich habe schon gesagt, dass äh, die Audience ist richtig super, laut. Ja. Ich hätte eigentlich heute gar nicht gespielt. Nein. Vielleicht sind die alle gekommen, weil sie dachten, ich spiele nicht. <lacht> Scheiße, jetzt spiele ich doch. <lacht> Nein. Ja, weil du... Her, 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 Heute Abend hast du etwas, oder? Ich habe heute Abend eine Probe für mhm. das Swing-Konzert, was morgen ist. Äh, genau, am Montag. Richtig, ja, Swing-Konzert. Ja. Was, was bedeutet das? Für die ähm, Leute, die das, da, nicht wissen. das heißt, dass ich einen, äh, mit einer wirklich großen, tollen Band 
ähm, einen Abend äh, nur Swing-Musik mache. Also Sachen von Frank Sinatra, äh, Michael Bublé, Rochi Cicero, oh äh, äh, Robbie Williams, Swing When You're Winning, dieses, äh, diese Richtung. Äh, aber es sind auch äh, drei Musical-Songs dabei, die yeah. wir in eine Swing-Form gebracht haben. Okay. Ja, also insofern... Äh, Kommt da auch ein CD oder so? Weil ich möchte nein, eigentlich das mal hören. Nein, nein, nein. nein. Der CD ist jetzt nicht geplant, aber... Äh, Schade, keine dass, dass, dass ich da nicht vorbeikommen kann. Du bist nee. nicht da, sonst wärst du natürlich eingeladen. Oder ich würde dich auf die Bühne einladen. <lacht> gleich eine Runde mitsingen. Ja, genau. Das Na, ist morgen cool. mein Plan. Mhm. Und ja. Und, und wir haben uns Weihnachtskonzert ähm, noch geplant, aber das ist schon alles ausverkauft. Ich glaube, das ist sogar schon ausverkauft. Wie Stadt cool. Wien, ja. Das Stadt ist schon, Wien. Das wird toll werden. Ich war noch nie da überhaupt. Da sind wir auch in der Planung. So richtig drin jetzt gerade, welche Songs wir aussuchen und so weiter. Es wird schön werden. Wir ja. wird ein sehr, sehr schöner Mix werden aus englisch-amerikanischen Weihnachtssongs, aber auch deutsche. Mhm. Vielleicht singst du ja auch mal was Holländisches. Holländisch? Gibt's auch ein lecker Kerst. Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht. Bis dahin ist es auch deutsch. Okay, ja. das ist auch deutsch. Ja. Ähm, ja, wie, 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 Abendrot oder so? Abendrot oder so? Abendrot, lang verwacht. Lang verwacht, ja. Abendrot, <lacht> lang verwacht. Ich weiß nicht zeker. Lecker ja, ich weiß es nicht so gut. <lacht> Ja, moi! Ja, moi! Ja, Und weiter haben wir noch andere Sachen, wo Leute sich noch Tickets kaufen können, um uns da zu sehen. Da kommt noch was, wo auch Nienke mit dabei ist. Ich sag mal ein bisschen Richtung Graz kann sich Richtung freuen. Richtung Graz? Graz kann sich freuen. 2024, das wird jetzt demnächst rauskommen. Ich, ich bin noch nie in Graz gewesen. Ist das schön? Das ist sehr schön. Das ja. Ist wirklich sehr schön. Auch noch ja. nie in Linz. Ich muss noch mal. Aus Österreich. Wir müssen mal weiter. ein paar Konzerttourneen machen hier, damit du Österreich kennenlernst. Yes. yes. Das ist ein gutes Plan. Yes. Leute, wir preparen uns für den zweiten Akt. Yes. Und äh, bis nächstes Mal. Ciao. Dui. <lacht> Now we're a bit forward in time, so I can tell you all the coming concerts that I'm gonna do with Mark. I will show you right away. We're going to Linz. We're going to Graz. We're we're bleiben in Wien. I'm gonna put all the links to the tickets uh, in the description from the video so that you can go and get some tickets to watch us live together on stage. <laughs> Good morning, I would like to update you guys. So, this is my, I just slept for my second night here. Oh, this is like jungly. <laughs> I slept for my second night here in uh, my parents' place in Holland. I miss them a lot, it's so nice. Yesterday we had like a dinner with the three of us and we talked for hours like we used to and we finally had the time to really reconnect and to just talk about life, it was beautiful. Yesterday during the day I had a workshop in Amsterdam. Now I'm gonna go there uh, in 15 minutes, I'm gonna drive to Amsterdam again, I have to workshop for a show again. So let's see what is coming out of that. Um, at least I have a lot of fun and I learned a lot actually. It was really fun. The team was really nice. So today I'm very excited and I'm not nervous anymore at all because it really feels like, like, yeah, it was a really warm team and it's always nice to feel like that. And then I'm gonna come home. I have an interview with the Leids Dagblad. That's a local uh, newspaper. And uh, then I'm gonna go to Noordwijk because there I have Aufnahme uh, recordings for a podcast, for the Kunstklank podcast. And let's see if I can film uh, today a little bit of those uh, exciting, full of days. With this is how my days always look in Holland. I have to go come here for 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 work stuff, and then I just put in all the things that were on my to-do list right away so that I can check them off and hopefully make everybody happy. Yeah, then tomorrow my travel brings me to Hamburg, but more about that later. See you later! Nienke, ja. ik wilde vragen of jij uit deze stapel kaarten er eentje uit wilt pakken. Oké. Okay. Een vraag voorlezen. Spannend. Ik zie al de kleur die ik eigenlijk wil. Nou, Maakt het uit? Nee of? hoor. <laughs> Rood. Kijk. Oké. Okay.
Hoe ga je om met fouten die je maakt? Nou. Dat is een mooie vraag. Um, ik, mijn eerste impuls ga ik zeggen. Ja, heel goed. Mijn eerste impuls is dat het zonde is om ergens spijt van te hebben. Mm-hmm. Want spijt is een emotie waar je eigenlijk niks mee kan. Als ik een fout maak, dan zou ik dat willen rechttrekken. Dus dan zou ik naar degene of naar, als het naar iemand is geweest, zou ik mijn excuses willen aanbieden. Dus zorgen dat mijn fouten niet anderen beïnvloeden. En als laatste zou ik ervan willen leren. Ja, van fouten kunnen leren. Ja. ja, dus dan zou ik willen denken, dit is gebeurd om een reden. Wat is de les die ik hier kan uithalen, zodat ik niet nog een keer deze fout maak? En um, ja, hopelijk mezelf dan te kunnen vergeven en door te kunnen gaan. Heel mooi. Dankjewel. <laughs> nou, wat een leuke vraag. Nog nooit zo op die manier over nagedacht. Hebben. Oh, everybody. De podcast was really fun. Also, the interview with the Leids Dagblad, uh, the newspaper, was very nice. That girl that interviewed me, Isa, she was really, really nice. And also, Angelique from the podcast was... It was so great. Like, I will show you where it will come online. So, if you want to check it out... Um, I'll let you know. And now I drove to my grandfather because I miss him a lot and I want to surprise him. And I think he's home. So I will go there and have a nice chat and connect. And then, uh, yeah, let's have some family time. So we just had a beautiful, lovely dinner by my father, mate as he normally made when I still lived at home. And now we're making an evening walk together. And you have a really close place. So I have to, <laughs> I have to keep up. But you see that the sun is going down and it's quite cold. So perfect weather for a walk, right Dad? Yes, indeed. <laughs> in Hamburg. Ich habe eingecheckt ins Hotel und jetzt bin ich schon in der Harburg. Ich ähm, fahre nach dem anderen Seite, weil dort ist die Premiere von Frozen. Ich freue mich total. Ich habe Blumen mitgenommen für Abla und Willemijn und ich kann es kaum erwarten, diese tolle Frauen auf der Bühne zu sehen, wo sie hingehören in so ein tolles Stück. Und ich weiß schon, dass sie stolz auf dass ich stolz auf ihr bin. Guys, I'm inside of the theater. I already saw so many colleagues. It's crazy. How many people came to support the new cast It gives me a warm, warm heart. I'm gonna go search for my seat and enjoy the show. Oh, let's bell, let's bell, let's bell. I interrupt the video. I will show you some pictures and I will just tell you about it. I can proudly say that I enjoy it so much. I enjoy them so much. 
They are two wonderful women with so much talent. Such a beautiful uh, sisters and also such a beautiful Elsa and Anna. Um, it was amazing. I really enjoyed every second. I'm mega proud. And uh, I went to lunch with Willemine. It was amazing. And then the day after, I went to see Kayoma in Mamma Mia as Ali. And she's also cover Sophie. And she did such an amazing job. And what a joy is that show. It was such a party. Also, after one and a half years of run of Mamma Mia, the ensemble had so much power and so much lust and so much uh, yeah, joy. It was amazing. I really enjoyed this little trip. And then my off shows were done and I had to go back to the show, of course, what I also really enjoyed. So sorry for the kurze Unterbrechung, but back to the show. Okay guys, hello, welcome back. It is Wednesday. This morning I arrived back. I then I went to the gym, very good training. And now I have to hurry because I have to go to Rathausplatz for a sound check for tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're gonna do the Sicherheitsfest. And we're gonna promo uh, Rebecca and a promo for Elisabeth. So I'm very excited to sing the songs again out of context. And in the concert version, it's always so much fun. And it's full, full, full of people tomorrow, always cool. I will take you with me, let's go, we have to hurry. <laughs> so we're gerade angekommen beim Rathausplatz. Und ihr hört schon Annemieke in der Hintergrund. Sie macht schon den Soundtrack, Gino ist schon da. Sie machen auch Soundtrack ja. für Elisabeth und das klingt schon fantastisch an. Ja, äh, du bist super laut hier zum Beispiel. Auf Mark. Du bist ganz direkt Dann auf der dürfen Bühne. wir ich natürlich die Rebecca Sachen singen. Mehr von vorn. Und, oh mein Gott, ich kann es, ich verstehe es nicht. Hello. Warum ja, ist es so schön? weil ich muss wieder auf die Bühne, aber wir, wir haben erste Akt geschafft und ich habe gleich den äh, Ansagen gemacht auf Instagram, dass ich morgen den VBW Instagram übernehmen, dass ich euch mitnehme auf Instagram bei das Sicherheitsfest und jetzt schaffen wir noch mal zweiten Akt und dann schlafe ich mal gut, weil ich bin eigentlich ganz müde, aber die Schuhe geht, geht gut, geht gut. Ich freue mich auf all, euch alle morgen. Hello, good morning! It's... which day is it actually? I think the 26th of October. I'm doing some makeup because later we have the Sicherheitsfest. I'm very excited to sing there. I'm gonna sing the Langfassung, like the long version of Zeiten an der Flasche. And it's pretty exciting because I didn't sing that for a long time. Ich bin gerade backstage angekommen. Ähm, jetzt ist erst das Polizeiorchestra. Sieht ja ganz cool aus. Alle in Polizeikostüme. Äh, nein, das heißt nicht Kostüme. Ach, ich bin so in der Theaterwelt. Aber ich bin so neugierig. Hab ich denn den Verstand verloren? Warum ist so viel Angst und Zorn in mir? Ich hasse mich selbst dafür. Was soll ich noch sagen? Warum kann ich zu viel Vergnügen 
rebounds. Good morning, beautiful people. So, it's Friday, and yesterday we had the Sicherheitsfest. And after the Sicherheitsfest, I went for ice cream with Mark, Sabrina, and Leo. It was very nice. And then in the evening, I went home and I had to learn so much lyrics for concerts, auditions. So I'm doing that, uh, I did it yesterday the whole night and I'm doing that waking up, I'm still in my pajamas, exactly in the same setting how I left it yesterday with some candles, this time some coffee because it's morning but I don't feel the undersheet, I don't feel the difference if it's morning or if it's evening because I'm doing exactly the same but it's okay. I'm gonna go to the gym because I had a really good leg day Wednesday. And I was so surprised that I didn't have so much musc musculata, a muscle strain. So I was like, oh, this is good because I'm starting to get really strong. <laughs> and now I can, I can actually add up some weight in, in, some, in my legs for sure. But today is uh, Überkörper Uber Uber day. So uh, I'm gonna do arms and chest and back. And then tonight we play the show again. But uh, today, every day I'm at home, I'm starting to learn these lyrics. I will tell you a little bit about it. Wait, this one is, is one of the worst. Puppy drugs, puppy drugs. Oh my God, no. Puppy dogs. So oh my God, that's comes from my <laughs> Puppy dogs with, oh my God, I have to wake up, wake up, wake up. <clears throat> Puppy dogs with droopy faces, unicorns with dancing mice, sunrise and wide open spaces, Disney World, I go there twice, butterflies and picnic lunches, bunches of crescenta months, lollipops and pillow fights and Christmas Eve, sugar plums, train cartets and Gia pets and afternoon banana splits, angels watching as I sleep and Libra watches greatest hits! Oh my god, yesterday I couldn't do it and now I slept on it. That's the best tip by the way, you have to sleep on it because then the next day is better. That's why for learning lyrics, you need time. Blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. I'm gonna go study further. Hey guys, how are you doing? I don't remember what was the last time we spoke, but it's now the first of November, isn't it? Yeah, the first, and that means that we have an official free day here in Vienna. So that means that I have for the first time in weeks a day off because. On my Mondays I was traveling, I was doing auditions, I was uh, doing concerts, everything. Going back to the topic. The topic is, I'm learning my lyrics and I have to find a way to get as much lyrics in my head in a very short time. So uh, I will tell you a little secret of mine. This is what I always do with like a lot of lyrics in, in like a short time. For example, let's see, it's directly a check if I know it. Um, what is the first one? Oh yeah, I was walking down the street just having a think when the snake of a guy gave me an evil wink. He shook me all up, he took me by surprise. He had a pickup truck and a devil's eyes. He stared at me and I felt a change. Time meant nothing, never would it again. Let's do the time warp again. So, okay, that needs a little bit more work, um, but it's okay. 
So this was one of the parts that unfortunately my camera uh, filmed everything in slow motion. I'm showing you the concert in Füssen with a voiceover. Have fun! Here we go from Vienna to Stuttgart and from Stuttgart to Füssen. Angekommen in Füssen. It's beautiful because from the Probenraum you can see the Schloss Neuschwanstein. We had some Proben to prepare for the night and then we went into the audience to look at the stage and to, um, yeah, to talk about how the night is gonna go. <laughs> Roberta, I just love her. Peter Stassen was talking us through um, the program and also telling us where to go on and where to go off, stage left, stage right, the whole concert. Voice over time done, let's see now how the sound check went without sound, but we still made some cool camera shots. Enjoy! <laughs> you liked it guys it was funny to edit all this all together the next video is about uh, Mark and I did a promo outfit for your VBW and we got to sing some beautiful VBW songs um, and I filmed a little bit of the rehearsal and also of the outfit it's such a joy to sing with Mark and now I can say it a few weeks after we stopped the show I miss him I miss him a lot I miss sharing the stage with him He's such a wonderful performer, always professional, so kind and warm. And watching this clip back, uh, yeah, I just cannot wait to sh share the stage with him again. that I have left over and now we're coming to the part that I'm gonna tell you how my experience was from the last show. I think the most emotional part was the day before the last show and then the last show came and I knew oh this is gonna be hard and difficult but I want to play the best show I ever did in this one and a half year till now. So with that motivation, uh, it really helped me to stay focused on what I'm telling in the story and to 
really enjoy it and to be super, super, super in the moment. And the funny thing is that in the last show, the audience is going crazy and I'm so thankful for that. Um, but also like some little jokes, like for example, Silke and Florian, uh, who play Giles and Beatrice, um, in the song, in the just before the song, then I'm sitting behind the desk and then uh, Silke says, Ach Giles, she's from Yorkshire. Um, but this time she said, Ach Giles, she comes from the Netherlands, or she is Hollanderin. And then the whole uh, audience laughed. That was so funny. I didn't know they were gonna do it. So I was behind the table like, <laughs> like this. One moment of breaking character because it was so funny. But So all those little small things happened during the last show. What I also loved is once I'm standing uh, on the upgrund, like on the, um, the edge of the stage, I'm singing always Möwen tief unter mir, Möwen tief unter mir. And the moment that I'm, I'm always watching down, and this time, somebody, I still don't know who, I think in the audience, clipped, like they placed fake Möwen, that are Mewe in Dutch, and like those flying white birds, I don't know the English word for it, but they cleaved them off the orchestra. <laughs> so I was mad tief unter mir. Like they're really there. <laughs> that was so much fun. The last part of the show, I felt it like I've almost done it and now I just have to sing the epilogue. And then I came out and the whole audience had blue and orange on their phones in the air and I was looking at it and I felt it directly oh my god I'm gonna cry but I was like no I want to sing this last song as I have never sing it before and then I really could hold it together until the last notes then I saw Mark and I burst it into tears and Mark was also crying and we cuddle and we look at the uh, audience and all those lights Unbeschreiblich, unbesch uh, un I cannot describe in words that feeling of proudness, thankfulness, grace. Uh, that was so beautiful. Then, of course, when the curtain came down, we we verbeugt a hundred times, I think. And then the curtain came down, and then the creatives came backstage with us, and. Also, Willemijn was there, she saw, saw the show that I really appreciate. And Sylvester Levi was there, who wrote the piece. And he had some beautiful words for us to say. And Christian Strupek, uh, Intendant from VWB, he had some really beautiful words to say. And it was all very emotional. And then we had like the, the party uh, with some food and some drinks with our family and friends that I will never forget. What an experience was that. This is it. This was the last Rebecca vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much making those vlogs for you guys and I really appreciate all the love that I got on Instagram, on, in the reactions, but also at the Bühneneingang. Thank you for this beautiful one and a half year in Vienna. I don't want to think it's my last time in Vienna. I will come back for a beautiful show, hopefully one day. And then I hope to see you all again. Oh, before we're gonna say goodbye, I almost forget one thing. My new adventure. So through the vlog, I hinted to my new adventure. Most of you guys that maybe follow me on Instagram know already what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna be erst besetzung Anna in die Niederlanden, in Holland. My dream is coming true. Oh my God, you have no idea how long I worked for this and how long I wished for this dream to come true. I cannot wait to share the stage with Fayenne and to play those beautiful sisters together. 
Um, we already had some press days, maybe you saw some pictures, but I also have some unseen uh, footage for you guys to already show you how it went. And of course, that's also a hint that yes, I'm gonna vlog during Frozen. So uh, I hope to show you way more backstage things and also for the people who are in Austria or in Germany, um, then you can see how it goes in Holland. I just want to say thank you so much and have fun with a little teaser for what's going to come up in Frozen the vlog. Bye guys. <laughs>